Now to a story we have been following here on 11 Alive. An 11 year old diagnosed with kidney failure and her mother helping to fight her illness. All this while the mother struggles to make ends meet for all eight children. Savannah Levins brings us this powerful story as well as a wonderful update that you'll only see on 11 Alive. What do y'all want for dinner tonight? For the past year, this hotel room in Griffin Pizza. has been home for Yvonne Sledge I know has her. and her eight kids. There's certain things you just don't plan for. You plan for everybody to be healthy, doing well, that this is how life is going to go, and then boom, the unexpected happens. The unexpected came in 2020 when 11-year-old Jador was diagnosed with kidney failure. She had to have both removed. We started on the dialysis three days a week. Jador. Three days a week. Are you feeling better? They drive over an hour to Tucker for the treatments. Like most moms, I do have my moments where, you know, we're in the shower and we let it all out. And then I'm like, okay, let's get it together. You have a good day today. Yvonne works as a restaurant cook and Uber driver every free moment she has. We'll grab some toys and play with them on the bed. Between appointments and bringing the kids to and from school. They know I work hard. They're taken care of. They're not going without anything. But it wasn't enough to keep their home. Sometimes the five girls will end up falling asleep in the bed because they'll be on their tablets or whatever. I just get in where I can fit in. She's reluctantly applied for housing assistance. I didn't want to use it as a, um, a clutch. If people already look at you like, see if she didn't have all those kids, then she wouldn't need the assistance. But they've been turned away every time. We would have to need at least four bedrooms. And a lot of them don't carry that many or they they don't carry any at all or they don't carry as many. So the waiting list in Georgia tends to be a little longer. But Yvonne is more worried about the other waiting list they're on, hoping to raise awareness about how living donors can be tested to see if they're a match. There is a um, website that you go on and you put in you have to put in her birthday, which is Shador Sledge, her birthday, April 23rd, 2013. Until a match is found, Yvonne pushes forward. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. She soaks in the little moments. With some of the stuff that go on. Oh, oh. <laughs> when I am feeling like I'm failing, <laughs> I'll get a little note that's like, I love you, mom. A lesson in patience and faith. I love you so much. In the gift of today. Thank you, I love you too. In the hope for tomorrow. Bye. And that no struggle is greater. I love you so much, mommy. Than the strength found <laughs> in family. The kids keep me around. At the end of the day, I want to be here to raise them. So, and I know that trouble don't last always. Peace. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Nothing like that reassurance from your kids that you are doing a good job, mom. So Sledge has set up an online fundraiser to help pay for their medical bills and the hotel room's rent. As of right now, it has collected more than $39,000. To learn more about how you can join the Living Donor Registry for Jador or to even make a donation, look for this story right now on 11alive.com.